let me finish this project I will do the part number two on this project this here is a canal liner canvas uh, it's it's a really really pretty thing because let me just demonstrate you what this does it doesn't matter where you are in a in a midwest in the central u.s uh maybe even in arizona i hope so or utah or texas where the land is dry California maybe I know I touched the prohibited now when it comes to farming when it comes to uh, agriculture but that's what you want this is like the best demonstration on how to quickly regulate the water streams the rainfall the storm water I would say I've seen this problems appearing everywhere and they turn deadly also that that sometimes have a big water coming down the mountain and is including people get killed and hurt and all kinds of stuff okay that's enough of it we saw this uh, pretty much these are blankets that what you would do is after you properly clean the canals or waterways the only thing you do is you you position them like this so there will be no debris that will stuck in there anymore it will keep the area clean like this just like this so simple and then you get a canal like this basically and you pour some water on it it turns into a concrete right there and there you go now you have a cement cemented uh, uh, canal like this okay now let me find some desert in the united states Oh, there is plenty here around Las Vegas, Albuquerque. I was all over this. Everywhere. I, I did some truck driving in the U.S. Utah, whatever, Arizona here. I don't know. Whatever, you name it. Whatever you have, some hills, some mountains. Um, look at this, poor Las Vegas. Uh, they do have a little piss over there anyways it's really good to have what you have right there but when you imagine that you could have 10 times 20 times 30 times as much as this typically the best would be to go here in this area like this where you have mountains on both sides And what you would do is, you would start to install Zlep Reke. Now, I don't know how you say that. Um, Yeah, you know what I mean. This stuff here, you know what I mean. But you have on both sides, you have mountains. In the middle, you have this, you know. 
And when it comes to the heels and stuff, you have this everywhere. You have it everywhere, you know, everywhere you have it, you know, you just have to pull your liners. You know what I mean? You just got to pull your liners. See, that's all you got to do. You just got to pull your liners. So when the water torrent starts, you direct them maybe into this area here. Just like I demonstrated you. That's what you do. You make like this everywhere as you go along, as you go, wherever you go, whatever you have this. And what you do is you create a lake, a big ass lake. That's what you do. That's what you do. And now, do you know what happens? Maybe you get the rain, maybe you get the torrential rain, maybe you get storm rain. Maybe you just get one maybe two months per year, maybe you get one. Maybe it's going to take you 10, maybe it's going to take you 20 years to feel this, for the rain to feel this hall, which you're going to build, hopefully. This pit, this giant pit. Let's say the pit is going to be as big as maybe one kilometer by one kilometer maybe when you do the project you know you should just do it as deep as possible and as big as possible there is always a reason why on the bottom of the canyon is uh, usually is a water because it doesn't evaporate you know uh, the depth of the of the of the lake the depth of the pond will proportionally reduce evaporation of the water into the air and whatever evaporation you're going to have of the water into the air you can start next to what I suggested you you can start not right next to the lake this is one mistake I have made during MK Ultra because I insisted people that right next to the lake they should go and they should just start to see the trees don't do that because you're going to have a tree roots they're going to go straight into the pond and they're going to destroy your liner they're going to destroy your uh your water protection if you're going to do the natural with the clay uh, the trees are going to go toward where a humidity is and they're going to penetrate through and you're going to end up with a punctured uh, pond uh, a considerable distance away from the lake is basically what you're going to start to do and you're going to start to uh, build you know more and more trees and you can as well you can use you can start to do farming not trees I mean trees you know and so you start to convert basically this entire alley basically into into a greener and greener and bigger and bigger oasis and as you do another one right next to it you're gonna see how many lakes is gonna eventually pile. That's why I said the puddle right there, the piss that you have in Phoenix. Did you know that you could do this stuff all over the place? Maybe it's gonna take you 20 years of the of the of the rainfall for you to to get somewhere, but eventually in 20 years, you're gonna have a tremendous giant big pit of water lake with a fishing site, with more and more green trees. I mean, the land is going to start to rehabilitate it itself. And I stated a kilometer, kilometer by kilometer. That's huge. That's giant, man. That's, that's really, really big. But it's not stupid. It's not stupid. It's not bad, kilometer. Do you know how much water that is? I mean, if you didn't have any over there, and all of a sudden you find yourself uh, with 1,000 meters by 1,000 meters square, uh, maybe deep, I don't know, uh, 40 meters full of water, 40, 50 meters full of water listen when you do the when you do this stuff like this 
I didn't even mention there's a road here you see there is a road is here this is here what is this here something like 395 what is this 395 395 is shit 395 is nothing the priority over this road is what you see right there the water at <laughs> the bloody road you can you can go and you can build yourself another one this was mine like this or you can do it like this I mean you get the point this here is a treasure what you see here this is a treasure and this treasure is unprecedented it's easy to dump the seeds in a grass uh, in a in a field a plow the field that is fertile that is with a with a weather that is raining humid this is you don't have to be smart and you don't you don't by the way you don't contribute much it's easy to unleash cows and milk them where well, you have where to unleash them and milk them but it all starts with the water management it all everything starts with this thing it's easy to dump the high-rise the apartment buildings the concrete garbage all over the place this is an easy thing to do but ensure that for the conditions that that you would even that you would thrive in that environment it all starts with the water management the main water management is what I'm demonstrating you in this video this here let me say to you when it comes to this type of issues I don't care how you do it if it was up to me I would even go and order like this an asphalt road like this that you see it like this just like this to be paved so that I could dip, dig myself 50 meters deep like even that far I would go then I will make sure this this thing is waterproofed as much as possible I don't know I've seen a lot of stuff that that is out there uh, the liners probably would not come to play with this stuff a plastic thin liners but I'm thinking about so much plastic that is being wasted thrown away um, is creating a pollution is creating all kinds of problems but it's a type of material that is like almost forever lasting a rubber also is being used for the airport pathways I understand and they've been using one to create for the stadiums and so on and so I was thinking about that maybe it would be a way to create some kind of liner that would be like some sort of surface that would be impenetrable that you would use that you would that you would just go and you would seal the bottom with that you would literally create a structure just like you create high-rise buildings and so on this compared to the high-rise building is is super super cheap not only in terms of costs when it comes to bulldozers and trucks that in a comfort zone could uh, easily uh, gravel this earth stones and stuff away uh, but when you consider return on investment you don't get nothing out of high-rise you dump some people in there they have roof over their heads and they dwell in there in a comfort but first you have to deserve that stuff and it starts with the water management everything starts with the water management with the stuff I'm talking to you about right now 
even if it would be more expensive, this thing that you would build that would last hundreds of years, if not thousand years, with the clean water inside, so with the chemicals that they would not, uh, if the chemicals would not cause uh, a loss of uh, water quality, the return on this type of investment is, is incredible. You could do this stuff all over the desert throughout the United States. Wherever the mountains are, wherever the storm rain is, the people are so afraid of this storm rain, they run away from it. That's actually pure gold. That's actually what you can turn into the pure, pure, much, much, much more worthy than damn gold. A piece of metal. This here is a real gold, this, this here. This is a future. Maybe interesting, the most stupid shit I have seen from people involved in MKUltra that I have seen was a job of, um, what is this guy name? Shock. Shock Pond was the most stupid thing I have ever seen in my lifetime. I have not seen anything so stupid. This is incredible. Um, they built a 500,000 uh, horror. I see this as a horror. Um, the five hundred thousand, the five hundred thousand um, dollar, and I was trying to tell the shock. I tried to advise them, but he wouldn't listen. He just went, and um, I don't know what happened, man. I don't know, and then this happened and is this water and he really wanted this water he liked this idea of mine about the pond and stuff i like the idea that he liked the idea about having the water around the home um and uh man it turned into a horror after he got an electricity bill the fucking electricity bill was is worse than uh, a five hundred thousand. The five hundred thousand dollar investment was. Look, look at it now. I mean, I already thought it turned out sour. Uh, Shock told me when he made those uh, streams, the uh, water so beautifully uh, rolling down. Uh, he told me I can you know what he said I can know I cannot uh, have this for the whole day long uh, I, 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 I cannot afford the water bill and the water bill was swallowing his property the water pump that he was running the electricity that he was running it started to surpass the wallet of Mr. Shock. At the beginning, when he was so excited, he was all excited until he got a first water bill, I mean, electricity bill. And once he realized the electricity is like without rich for what he thought, I don't know how many thousands of dollars he told me per month, uh, I thought I'm gonna crack in my pants. Uh, it it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Uh, all because he didn't want to ask me a question. I mean, he did not want to ask me a question. He did, he did not allow me to 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 give him an idea about about you know. Uh, 
it's shallow it's perfect for the bacteria to, to explode itself um, and the water pump is gotta is gotta operate so that this inefficient extremely inefficient bacteria growing uh, piece of art can actually produce bacteria fight with the bacteria constantly and in between is a shock <laughs> paying for the water bill basically for the electricity I mean I mean um, you can't make this up but hey you know I would give him an advice if he would have asked me but he did not ask me he wanted to surprise me and when I saw this thing I thought I'm gonna get a heart attack when I saw this this project completed. I saw this people who designed this pond, um, these technicians, they spontaneously wanted to kill me. They just wanted to choke me basically um, when his pond was finished and when I made my face when they just they were smiling and it was like like on a snap they wanted to choke me basically for they were so proud about it you know but the reality was you know that the shock could no longer go and finance this anymore like initially did and so now he does this stuff only i don't know once or twice a day for a little bit time or something like that horror uh, the biggest success that did this stuff uh, exactly what I was talking about however believe it or not was a Dwayne Rock Johnson he was the one however who followed this advice and didn't want to get himself into into the seven wonder like this uh, he is operating something over there, something in the middle of it, in the midst of it, and it's clean. But it is a totally different concept. It's totally different. The whole thing is totally different. And this, according to Johnson, is a success, contrary to Shaq O'Neal. Uh, he, and I believe him, I don't know how deep is this stuff, uh, but... I think it's actually quite deep he is extremely proud about his pond he made it big with his pond he definitely changed the landscape with his pond this was the big success he was he was rock Johnson Dwayne was totally over was he was completely uh, absorbed with this stuff with a good reason I mean how the hell you would not be I mean and uh, I'm seeing this stuff here let me see this you know, he's got his farm he's raising the fish creating healthy ecosystem he was thanking me for this stuff he was extremely thankful extremely pleased with this and he get to catch the fish and his bill electricity bill if he has one uh, I saw that pump he obviously have one is a miniature and look at how the water is clean when compared to a shock is a wonderland that he created I mean the shock did truly beautiful the design everything looks so this is this is the biggest problem this is the biggest problem is this you know because people see something something that is so pretty you know it's so uh, it looks like so tempting that you you just you don't you don't want to see it on a big scale you don't want to see from out of the picture that you actually have to see it out of the picture but this water look at this water this this he can go swimming in there my goodness see 
and the fish the fish is nice right this is a big ass fish this is a big ass fish and the thing about it is there was others also that that succeeded with this ponds there are many farmers that started to do this they started to play with this the liner is good this plastic liner is good anything is good this here is not going to keep the water in my opinion this is just good to direct the water do not go in my opinion i don't know do not go and do the lining of this stuff to keep this uh, as a as a bottom of the lake or something like a like a you need the you need the pond liner you need something that is gonna seal the the pond the lake you know what i mean so bentonite is a big thing and then they have other natural clay that you can get somewhere like if you're doing a project like this this kind of stuff you know that you do it in a such a way that you that you seal this damn thing so that it's 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 there this pit this lake and it will stay there because really life life is when it comes to the lake this is this goes up to maybe really fish this goes maybe up to i don't know maybe goes up to 10 meters or something like that um seven meters five meters i don't know but down under you know is just a a a, a water a big pool of water a big pocket of cold water that have fish needs to be cooled you know from the bottom you know that that cools one um there is something else that i have to say to you you know when it comes to this algae and stuff like this the problem is that if you have one meter shallow water you know and let's say that this is two meters shallow water and let's say that this is a three meter sh uh, water uh, the algae are gonna quickly penetrate through the surface where one meter is depth the water depth of water and what's gonna happen is you're gonna connect the surface with the bottom my god you're gonna have fucking explosion of the microorganisms is gonna be crazy inside it's gonna be crazy uh, when it's wherever it's two meters deep allergies are gonna do the same they still gonna make it through wherever it's gonna be three meters deep it's gonna be already difficult for the algae to form this stuff you know what I mean four five meters five meters deep it's gonna take many never almost never to fulfill this stuff five meter deep the algae is not gonna to touch is not going to grow all the way to the surface and explode this microorganisms all over the place connect itself and so on that kind of stuff um 10 meters deep forget it man that's 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 the bottom is already so neutralized from bacteria explosion growth uh, that's unbelievable now you get the drill now you get what i'm trying to say people are asking me this is this is this is this is this is this is horror i mean when it comes to pond uh pond exploding bacteria people have two problems one is to seal the pond and another one is to keep one clean and um when it comes to to keep the the the, the pond clean the people that were involved in MK Ultra, some people cursed me, man. They started to fucking curse me in Arizona and and other, you know, what the fuck? I mean, uh, this this thing, this hole, we 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 dig this, and now this is full of bacteria. It's full of this algae, and no matter what we do, um, there is people here that. Um, they started to fight with the with the algae. So, I mean, this this is like fucking crazy. It's the, they started the war that you cannot win. I mean, they build a shallow pond with obviously bacteria and shit algae, uh, fucking multiplying. I mean, you would need the fucking trucks every day 
to to uh, I, I see. I mean, you could do the full time job, but do nothing other than to just clean and clean and clean. You're gonna have a fucking clean because the pond, the lake, it would just uh, eat you. You know what I mean? You you don't have time that you're gonna because every time when you go clean the pond, what happens is you see, uh, you you create an explosion of microorganism every time when you touch the algae and shit. It just explodes, man. It multiplies. It multiplies so fast under the sun. It's a, it's like you throw atomic bomb into into something uh, of of uh, organism, microorganisms and stuff. You try to clean, and there is no no fucking way you can clean this because be faster than you you will clean this, it will start to multiply. It will eventually, will eat your nerve, and more than anything, it's going to eat your wallet. And you're gonna end up broke cursing me that's why i took a radical approach you do this shit according to your judgment you don't have to go 10 meters deep and 20 meters deep uh state officials already know what pays off when you do a big reservoirs where you do um a pits where you keep the water uh, artificial lakes they know what's what's best and finally i did deliberately i i deliberately instigated on i deliberately instigated on a i deliberately instigated on a on a large size ponds so that you can get the license but it's it's it, it should be a job of the state to make you get the license uh, as cheap as possible eventually even assist you and even give you uh, subsidiary they should you should allow your farmers help your farmers to um, to build the ponds if you see they will be they're gonna be beneficial for economy if you see they're gonna be beneficial uh, what's good for your farmer is good for you I mean not only he pays taxes and stuff like this but you know this can so profoundly change environment stuff I'm talking about you know the, this greenhouse effect this stuff that we have this carbon emission and stuff you know you got to start fight somewhere and this is more efficient than no okay it's not when fighting a carbon not as efficient as 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 electric electric power vehicles but uh on a long term it is it is this this is a green environment this is a clean stuff that's gonna stay that you will always grow I tell you that you this stuff is never gonna go out of fashion electric vehicles might even go out of fashion well, it might be another way to power the vehicle sometimes in the future clean energy but the stuff I'm talking about here this is never gonna go out of fashion this stuff is gonna stay uh, the life I did deliberate stuff like this to push you to go get the license because the truth is you need professionals you need the, you need a guy like this guy here this guy this guy was involved in MK Ultra and I warmly recommend his company this guy here I did this studies here in the bottom deliberately because I wanted you to go and see a little bit I, I just wanted to do to go and see a little bit this stuff this is the stuff you see that average builders of the pools pool is different you know pool pond is different than 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 a lake uh, uh you know um i've seen really great projects on on some of you guys did every one of you guys did i mean i'm just trying to clarify a few issues you know now, even if you make a mistake with a pond, do not get disappointed. Um, yeah, I mean, the mistakes can be costly. But the thing about the pond is, this is the same, like, you know, when you do it, bloody do it. I mean, do it, do it. Don't fuck with this. Don't, don't try to be cheap. When you do it, just fucking do it. Do it, do it so it's going to be done. You understand? When you do the pond, this is unlike any other job. If you're going to do it 50%, you have done nothing. Think about it. You did the 50% job, there's no such thing like a shit cheap job when it comes to pond, when it comes to lake. 
you're gonna so screw yourself. I've seen guys here crying uh, 20,000 uh, wasted pond and so on because you do you do you know how much you know how much did let me yeah this sucks listen to me man when I tell you this stuff in the pond when it comes to pond when it comes to lake you can do 80% and you have still not done shit you understand what I'm saying and it's gonna be a water bill and it's gonna be all kinds of bill and you're gonna be fucked you're gonna be left broken with a giant bill if you're gonna do 90% job and you're still gonna do shit do a hundred percent job get yourself somebody get yourself somebody or don't do anything I tell you this this is what I'm trying to say get yourself somebody like this guy here from Illinois who was involved in it I like this guy because he's a very uh, professional the pond and that's really this guy here okay let me let me make a little commercial for him because he really uh, he really knows what he's talking about and I like that that really is knowledgeable this man here this is some kind of Illinois DNR or whatever that is and so you want to get yourself this guy so many people put pond this guy should, uh, you want to watch this video and you want to get yourself a guy like this you want to ask him what he think about your project that's why i say you go get your fucking license but you know the state you should make you should help people to do this you should help people to do this stuff and the community should should play in this stuff you know the stuff that I demonstrated you you know fuck it I mean if you're without a job or whatever you know did you get your social handout and stuff like this you could you could give a hand you know creating this channels and the lakes and stuff like this and assist so you know the stuff like this kind of construction could go on hell I would even send military to do the stuff I really would I mean on your spare time whatever time you know this is beautiful project I mean this is a beautiful beautiful project beautiful community project you can make it's it's kind of hard you know for those guys over there in, in this uh, uh, in this mountains to be you know uh, it's it's to me I don't know to see the desert everywhere it's kind of a depressing you know when you think that this could be uh, let me put it this way the Alps are turning into desert. The waters are becoming, the rivers are becoming drier and dry le with less and less water. Uh, they don't have, there's no glaciers are disappearing. It's really a catastrophe that's happening. And imagine that you still have a chance to somehow retain this water. And imagine that over the course of the time, it definitely will turn into the desert. And really your only option to have something to do something with the water management is through the water management basically this is the investment nobody is making this is the most important investment that should be made in your domestic economy anywhere I'm thinking about Italy how beautiful this rivers lakes and stuff and Austria and also Germany and Switzerland and, and France Slovenia Romania, where they have this uh, Carpati uh, with uh, Slovakia and so on, Tatra. Uh, all this, these are opportunities to create. Yeah, you, you, people go, oh, yeah, look, it's a water, it's a lake. Yeah, how beautiful lake. Uh, people go all crazy when they see the lake. But, you know, if you think about that, there could be actually quite a lot of lakes. And of course, this is a source of life. What do you think is a source of life? A concrete jungle definitely is not. The $20,000 mistake, don't make one. When you do it, do it 100%. And if you have opportunity, talk. Talk to the guy like this. Talk to the guy like I demonstrated you right there. 
get get him stop by invite him for a coffee pay him whatever it takes to give you a professional and do whatever he says you do based on description of what you would like to have I might not necessarily be right about it I most likely am not I'm not architect I'm not the one I have not built in fact not even one single pond my father did this man here did he was the one who did this he was playing with a fishing harvestry and stuff like that he knows a whole lot about this stuff when you do the pond you're doing a serious business 50% is not going to do it uh, 80% is not going to do it I'm thinking about this poor guy here I'm so sorry but there is many 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 guys like this thanks God is this the same guy and and he improved this already started to think advanced he started to be advanced he figured out fuck this I'm not gonna be paying for the filter system and stuff like this I'm gonna put some muscles in it or whatever he did uh, make one deeper whatever find the solution to it it's not it's not it's not just it's not it's not a well for the water like this you're gonna have to do some filters and oxygen and all kinds of stuff like this um, see this this is this is the stuff this is the stuff this is the stuff that uh, if you're gonna go cheap um you know if, if, if you're gonna go cheap um chances are it's gonna be shit uh every dime you're gonna invest i suggest you, you invest into construction quality basically uh concentrate on long term clean pond do not think about in a shack style how it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be you know you're going to be all these candles and stuff and the water is going to be around the house and stuff. don't do this don't do this is a trap this is the deadliest trap that's the one that's going to leave you broke uh, concentrate on long-term self-sustaining pond do you understand what i said long-term self sustaining pond well you're gonna do long-term self-sustaining pond even if the worst comes to worse it's gonna be much easier to fix that big problem whatever that big problem might be allergies or um, you know yeah i think that the shallow pond is the biggest 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 mistake watch this videos uh, some thousand people talking about people who built ponds were involved in construction like these guys here they had me here many times visiting them creating a permaculture pond with uh megan and zuck Zach every one of these people they had me during MK Ultra yearly I have to yet to see I cannot see all the videos but during MK Ultra they were delivering me to this pond uh, because I was obsessed with this idea to turn uh, what is this okay all right I mean people have different ideas I mean you know people have a different ideas but one thing I want to say to you you see this guy here he made the pond what is this here he made the pond that is without the filter pond without filter or pump even if he needs to clean the water sometimes he can turn that filter on you know what I mean but not every day three times a day 
you get the point you get the point concentrate you, you, you concentrate on a big picture concentrate on a big picture don't concentrate on a small picture now watch this video to see what people experienced what problems they had uh, so that you can avoid having them yourself you know uh, avo uh, involved you know these people involved in this this guy involved this family involved here in this stuff they were involved um farmers profited from within you know um i don't want to miss on something important i said i was gonna say really really important is that you get return on your investment and the only way you're going to return investment is when your job is going to be 100 percent completed not even 95% is going to do it when you do the pond. Do it once and do it good. Don't do the halfway. People get excited, man, because they start to dig and the fantasy takes over. They see this holes already full with the water. They lose their mind. They're not losing their mind. They see themselves already with the water, with a big ass water. How they're going to be plunging inside this pool, this beautiful pool. It's going to be so wonderful, so nice. Sure, it will be. But if you don't do a 100% job, because this is a very serious work, chances are you're going to cry. There are so many videos on a YouTube with the people crying. Uh, some lady. Um, with a husband uh, I would have divorced her I would not have a woman like this next to me uh, she was extremely negative uh, there was a pool and uh, it was like oh okay okay we're gonna do it okay okay this is not an attitude uh, I didn't force anybody to do this stuff whoever did this stuff did stuff on his own if you didn't want to do it don't fucking do it you don't do that because of me but it was oh okay no, oh, we're gonna do it. Okay, uh, a pond was uh, accordingly uh, a total. It was they didn't do shit really. I mean, it turned out that in the end uh, I was guilty for everything, and I don't know. They brought a bulldozers and uh, took the whole thing down even that pond and I was guilty for absolutely everything I mean with all kinds of stuff like this um, husband wanted to do it he was positive about it but his wife was just nagging all the time she was all complaining complaining oh everything was difficult to her no oh, okay okay you know to the hell with it you know I wouldn't have a person like this next to me for one thing more than a pool a lady like this, I would dump her out of the door. It's simple. Or I would go on my own. I wouldn't have hell fuck somebody just next to me that would be with this kind of attitude. I mean, she was making him life hell. I mean, he, he man really wanted to complete the project and so on. And she was just so nagging, so negative about it. that The whole thing, he didn't do 100% the job, you know. Maybe he did 80% good job. Maybe he did 90% good job, but in this business, if you don't do the 100% job, you didn't do shit. And it turned out, eventually, it turned out into disaster. That's why it's the people like this, you know. Uh, what is this lady here? That's a big knife. You see this stuff here, this? You don't want that kind of rain. Uh, in the Midwest, in the Midwest, one of the most beautiful things that I have seen in the Midwest, that's another one I was going to, and then I'm done with these videos. In the Midwest, the most beautiful thing I have seen was uh, 
truly, truly ingenious stuff. Uh, you see, every house with a roof, every house has a roof, obviously. And uh, I don't know, uh, is it the ceiling or... Um, all the hell you gotta do is basically use this babes to have the water delivered, the rain water into certain area, man. This will fill your pond. This will go straight to your pond and it will fill your pond. And then you can use the water pumps, whatever, for the field irrigation, whatever you, whatever that you want to do with that pond, with that water. But this is a giant bill. This is a giant water bill. But in the Midwest, I have seen houses with the pools under the house also involved I've seen this stuff here, uh, where the hell is that now? This is ingenious, this stuff here, this, this here. This is very, very brilliant, this stuff here. If you manage to cover, if you make a small pool, people will ask me, well, what the fuck I do now, what now? I mean, the algae are exploding, they're exploding, they're exploding, they're exploding, they're exploding. And he had a fucking pool like this, pond like this, about this size pond, like this. He had a pond like this, man. He invested, he started to invest somewhere in Arizona or some place. I don't know where that was. Yeah, yeah, sure, it was hot, I mean. And people started to cry, I mean. Uh, I, I pay so much and this and that, and I put the chemicals and I put I don't know what, and I did this, and I did I don't know what the fuck I did, and it costed so much money, and I did this, and I believe he did, I believe these people did, it was a small pond, and really small pond, man, and people started to, and I did exactly what you said, it's three meters deep, and this and that, it's deep, and I, I believe you did, I believe you did all this stuff, and the water bill keep coming, the water field to keep running. Uh, the man worked at the work, at the job, and was doing nothing other than paying for the filter, for filtration of this pond, uh, and for the fish <laughs> to swim inside of the pond. A real horror, a real horror when I think about that stuff. This here is a simple way. Man, they came like, I, with, I don't know how many advisors, I <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it was like, oh, but you don't know, you don't know, this space gets hot, it gets hot. Well, you know, it, do you see this here? This is the deadliest, the most efficient way to, to keep the pond clean. There's no fucking way to keep pond cleaner than what you, you don't need no filter, no shit when you do this. This is going to keep the water cool. Goodbye bacteria, goodbye everything. If you have to filter one, you do it once a season. You see this stuff here? You can, if you're gonna, if you're gonna build a natural pool or pond or whatever, you may, as well as mine, maybe you want to do narrow stuff for yourself. You want to do stuff. You may want to do narrow stuff with exactly the stuff you see right there. Something very, very light construction that you can just go and you can just roll over, and once you're done, just cover it up. And yes, you can have fish in there, swimming inside, and or leave portion of this pond uncovered, whatever. Fish, whatever you're going to have, is going to thrive in there. You're going to have a small thing like this, and it's going to be full of fish, thriving, with you swimming inside. Or you can have a different design, with a bigger hole, whatever, and if it's, if it's, if the... If it's not going to permit the construction of the pond itself, 
it's not going to support the ecosystem the way you would want you're going to have a lot of you're going to end up with a lot of problems ask professionals and don't ask one professional this is the same shit like you go to a doctor for a certain problem health problem that you have get a few different physicians to see from their perspective when your problem uh see what i got to say and you know it's a big investment and this isn't about the big investment this isn't about heavy financial investment it's about getting it done the right way more than an investment you have to concentrate on on getting it done the right way your job is going to be done your job your job is going to be done before you're going to start building the pond just remember this once the project is going to be complete calculated everything this is where your job if it's properly done it's going to be completed if it was not properly done you're going to end up with additional bills extra expenses if you go fishing 50 no 60 no 70 percent is completed with your placing if you have a proper fishing gear proper fishing line and everything with the last step that you have to complete so the fish will even bite the hook that's what basically placing whether that be a worm or bread or whatever you're going to use as a bait on the hook so that it looks attractive enough interesting suspicious not for fish to try it out the same shit is with the with the pond your job is going to be completed before you're going to start building the pond the rest of it is just the technical part just you doing your shit so what i'm trying to say is the biggest investment you're going to make is the one you're going to start before you're going to start actually building the pond once you start building the pond you're going to be all passionate also that's another thing it's going to take you over and you'll be dreaming about how to jump as fast as possible in there trust me what i'm saying to you is at least is quite real so i'm not going to say anything in this uh about this stuff no more there is a way to get this channels like irrigated in a such a way so they they are concentrated into a certain area and um you know i don't understand the politicians you know the politicians say oh we build the road you know we build the road wow uh, it's a road man it's a road we build you know it's a road we build well yeah yeah that's about right i mean what do you think you're here for i know that 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 it's not easy i know that it's not that it's not uh you know but uh, you know this is what we are here for this is what we are here for there's no there's no easy there's no cheap and there is no there's no damn easy way out there's no there is no uh something you're just gonna go and just shook shook and that's it it used to be a long time ago uh but as life is getting more competitive also even in business uh, you have to find solutions that sometimes are not the easiest solutions but you know this this stuff we're talking about this is still a silicon valley this stuff here this is still extremely extremely lucrative stuff that in the u.s is not being exploited at all that much of it could be done and close to nothing was done to it nothing was done so far licensing yes this is an industry i'm talking about just like a general motors uh we need more people govern people that would be as educated as possible not just 
sitters at the desk, but experienced know-how uh, ongoingly involved in this type of projects, advisors to people that will go and do the inspections uh, and asked people and even advised them, you know, give them advice, give them a piece of advice, whatever. Maybe the government person is not allowed maybe to give the, you know, because we take the responsibility for uh, for advice, whatever. That's true, too, you know. But, you know, the guys like this guy here, you know, I like this guy here. Uh, really like this guy here. Some kind of IDNR fisheries uh, chief. This makes a difference, you know. It was multiply guys like this. He should train people and have people like this that would do, you know, when he was a state inspector and stuff like this, is sit at the table, drink one coffee and discuss with you your, your project to give you some in and out ideas before, you know, because, you know, it should be, you know, it should be about the stuff that uh, it should help one another. This, this is, this is beautiful when you, when you, uh, for the community like this, something like this, you know, we ask people, where are you moving to? People are always going to say, in a street such and such next to the lake, if there is a lake. Thanks for watching this video. You can see also the videos how the landscapes around lakes, how they changed once uh, structures like this, how everything, environment, everything started to change, reshape the whole thing. I don't have anything else to say. The worst part to me was to see the people losing their money on investments. Uh, that actually really hurt me. Oh, the fisherman, the fisherman is here uh, from the old house. He died. I posted the video yesterday and he died. Um, he all the time was, I didn't know he was so passionate about this stuff. I had no idea he was so passionate about it. Um, yeah. Roger was involved about two years before he posted his first, you know, Roger, Roger was an assistant of this program. Uh, I think probably the program name was Old House. I don't know anything about the program Old House. I don't know, but I imagine this is an old program or there must be some other program. Uh, and what I do is I remember Roger Cook being involved in MK Ultra. Like about, I remember his mom. Uh, I remember him at home. And, um, hell, he was involved in this project about maybe even three, four years earlier before, before 98, you know. So, uh, uh, 1988. Archer Cook, 1988. This is the first appearance, yeah. There you go. So, um, um, he was um, he was into the job and stuff like that. What is this here? This old house? To okay. A home lived in okay. All right. So, okay, maybe I can give you some of this stuff. And uh. What was the year? 1988, 1984. Oh, shit. I was like 10 years old. So that's like since my uh, fifth grade of the grammar school, I remember him, sixth grade. And um, him, mom, uh, I don't remember his father, though. I don't remember his father. I remember his mom. And um, he was looking at a job, you know, he wanted a job, and he got this job, he, he wanted a breakthrough. He became assistant, some kind of assistant over there at the 
uh, the Roger Cook. Uh, I, what the hell am I talking about, Roger Cook? Uh, what is this old house, whatever show? And so he first became some kind of assistant, something. And they were looking at him and so on and so forth. And uh, I was just uh, talking to Roger. I always wanted the Roger. And uh, it was others, like British Royals, that also observed this, Andrew. And anything I was doing, uh, they figure out is good. Everything I was doing was just turning really into gold. So if I found the person interesting, uh, the only thing they would do is they would just make breakthrough for that person. They would want that person to appear immediately in the public. Yeah, they really didn't go wrong with this stuff. Uh, they also reshaped the neighborhoods and stuff like this. They were doing this stuff. Uh, I guess the person that is jerked up is under certain pressures and uh, sees it his own way. And so I was very, very strong person during MK Ultra. And so uh, I, I liked him. And it, it was very, very shortly after this, after this uh, old house that he was selected. Uh, and make his breakthrough rapidly. Maybe he was there with his guys around assisting them, maybe for like a one year or something like that. And then it, one time he just became a big star. This was it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah. He had a little house back then. He had a little house back then. That was his home. Oh, uh, let me see something else here. Roger Cook. Uh, uh, old house. Uh, let me make sure that this was not his sister. Let me see this here. Is this is this his wife or what now? What the hell eh? You're gonna tell me that his wife died, man. Hell, man. I get it. Ah, uh, yeah. Because he was driving me to Burlington. Uh, or wherever the hell he was driving me to. Uh, by himself. So, she died. I think she had a cancer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. His mother was blonde without doubt. A sister, did you have a sister? I don't recall if he had a sister. Okay, but my mom did turn off the Wi Fi. Very nice. Uh, that's very helpful. I remember the mom. I remember 
the house they had there was a small house rather nothing really special uh, small house and um, I haven't seen any pictures uh, <laughs> The mother did not disconnect the internet, says, and the internet disconnected itself with the signal also went offline, as you were able to see. Uh, this is quite disturbing when you try to plug the memories back to uh, 1985, uh, 1984, and you just don't have any kind of capacity to look over. Mamika Simane, boom. Yeah, this was Mama who disconnected the the Wi-Fi and uh, asked me just to take her to the father. She could do this differently, you know, it wasn't necessary to do the stuff like this. It's pretty disgusting, but okay. Okay, I am not going to be playing with this stuff. There is no, uh, there is obviously uh, no pictures here about uh, a mom that I would see. There's not a lot of pictures. Maybe I should find album, something like that. But that I'm going to do some other time. <clears throat> he did appear. Did have some health problems. Um. But he also stated to me some other stuff. So whatever he is, hopefully he's not dead. If he's fishing, uh, be so. Um, yeah. Uh, life once he became a star here it uh, for him it it pick up really really quickly it went up steep I don't know why I feel that he did have a sister also I don't know why Actually, actually that I don't know to me the way this stuff feels is um, I, I would have to go really back in time and start thinking about that stuff again that's just not gonna happen right now I got also a lot of other stuff to do. Kind of a wasted this morning. What?
his siblings in law. What is the siblings in law? So he was um, Aha. Uh -huh. What the hell is the sibling in law? Eh? Spouse of the one sibling, the sibling. I I am already confused. What? The spouse of one sibling. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. No. Um No, uh, I, I maybe this is a total total mistake. Maybe this is this is this is actually a big fucking mistake. Big fucking mistake. Uh, here's what it is. This was his wife. He must have been married already back then, uh, or it was his girlfriend, whatever the fuck it was. And it was his parents. Parents were not divorced. It was the family. His parents that also, but they lived separately. They had another home. Now I remember. Now I remember. Um, so this is what it is. He was already married. Sometimes, obviously, in 1987. Uh, that show was in 1988. So he must have been married about like 1986, 1987. Here it is. We're going to. That was actually his wife. Um, Roger funded K&R Tree and Landscaping with his wife Katie in 1982. Wow, these people got married so early. This is... Um, oh. The Old House, 1982. Yeah, this was his wife then. Sorry, this was his wife. Uh, yeah, he's his father and mom this is just older people and even kind of a small people George was big uh, Roger was big I mean they were not so big it was smaller people they had a house they also had a house and he had a and the two with the wife also had a separate house this is how it goes all right thanks for watching this video I for every issue I need to plug the brain uh, he had a big family this guy this was not a small family. He would take me to the hood where he is from. Um, and so that I would meet. Did he have a sister? I think he also had a sister. He had a quite a big family. I think there also was a sister in the area that he had. He had. Uh, it was a mistake because I have mistaken his wife for the mom, whatever. All right, so this was a video about uh, this type of stuff here and your ponding and stuff like this.